I'm coaching two youth age basketball groups right now, ages five and six and ages seven and eight. And it's enjoyable, but it requires patience. It requires patience because at those ages, many children haven't developed the ability to be patient with themselves yet. They miss shots, they lose the ball when they dribble, they inadvertently throw the ball away, they fall down. But the funny thing is that NBA and WNBA players do the same things. They miss shots, they throw the ball away, they fall down. So the difference is that they do it much less often though. And the reason for this is because those professionals have learned through trial and error. And the error is where the majority of the learning occurs. You see, if these kids never missed, if they were perfect all the time, then I couldn't teach them anything. Now, you may not consider yourself a professional at fitness or in nutrition or in managing stress, but because each of those things are a part of living a healthier life, they should be things that you want to get better at, even though you may have fallen down or missed or thrown it all away in the past. View those past attempts as learning experiences. Don't view them as failures. Again, the past should serve merely to inform how you move forward. The past does not determine what your next outcome will be. You can use it to improve because past attempts are actually gifts. They're gifts of learning. 